Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today, okay cool, they're there. I was like, oh, I need to actually have these books here if I'm going to do a book haul today. Um, but today we are going to do the, um, I'm obviously still in love, um, having a love affair with uh, the Tashin books. And so we have more to go over. So, here it is. Um, the first book I got is this one. And I found it at a very weird um, store that sells, um, what do you call those? Blind boxes of little weird toys. They, for some reason, had a small bookcase with a couple Tashin books on it. And then they had like the um, Andy Warhol, like um, bears, like the statue of the bear and the statue of the bunny, but it has like Warhol's face painted on it. And it's like thousands of dollars or something. They had that stuff there too. No idea why. But I was glad because not only did they have these, but they were $2 cheaper than they normally are. So this book is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm loving it so far. And if you remember, I have the Liechtenstein, Basquiat, and Warhol there. <clears throat> so these are books that will go up with those. So let me turn... And maybe you can look over my shoulder and see all of these cool things. He's just absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, uh. Crack down. Ignorance equals fear. And for those of you who don't know, um, He died at the age of, look at that, that's so cool. He died at the age of 31 from AIDS. And, um, yeah, sucks. 31, dude. Unbelievable. Look at all this stuff he did. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Yeah, anyway. So this book is great, and there's already been a couple things in there that have completely blown my mind as far as things. This one, oh, now that I actually found the Tashin store, um, I am effed. Just so you guys know, completely effed. Because not only do they have a bunch of books like this, they also have a ton of Frazetta stuff and a ton of like, um, like Boris Vallejo. And they also have all of those big ass collections of like the Avengers and Spider Man and X Men. Oh my God. So yeah, let's look over my shoulder and I'll show you. My new favorite Rothko that I found in here that I think is the most beautiful thing in the world. So these are all amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh my god. They're so effing cool. It's coming up and it is right here. This, this, this is my new favorite Rothko. Oh my god, look at that. It is effing gorgeous. I could look at that all damn day. Sun. Oh my god. It's just gorgeous. Oh, did I fuck up the corner of this book when I put it in my bag? I think I did. All the pages are all like bent. And my corners are bent. Oh no. Rothko! Anyway, amazing. And finally, 
this one. Yep, yep, yep. And what did I learn in this one? I will tell you what I learned. I learned that I really don't like his early stuff. And when he was trying to find himself, I really don't like it. But there's so many pieces like that. That one's kind of cool. The black, I think, is a little too thick. I don't like those. That I love. That white one, that's fucking amazing. Um, that is also gorgeous. Look at that, dude. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. This one's like one of my favorites for sure. But the one that is my favorite isn't in here. And so that was kind of shocking. I do like Comet. That's great. I do love that one a lot. But all his early shit, it's just like busy and muddy. And like want to be Picasso but it's just like when you're like trying to find yourself I get it and then also when you're trying to find what you like I just really don't like his for the most part his choice of color and his composition it's just so like these are kind of okay but not really it just looks like a mess. As I say, like, I love his messy bits. But anyway, so that's the Pollock book. I also, I was going to do a whole video on this, and maybe I still will. But in case you don't ever watch that, let me just give you a little heads up on this. This book is good if you are somebody who likes little daily affirmation things. If the, that thing is something where you can like run with that, then definitely pick this up, I would think. If you don't give a shit about stuff like that, this book is going to kind of piss you off more than anything because the big failure here is that you paid money for a book that told you shit that you kind of already knew. Um, I think that is uh, like, honestly, this is where this is going to be really difficult for me to talk about because <clears throat> <clears throat> I think there is some really good stuff in this book. If you have not heard this yet. But if this is something that you already know, um, this is not only going to seem like redundant, but you're going to feel like a fool that you paid money for it. I don't know how else to say that. I'm going to try to do a full like review of this book, but the problem is that this book is basically just sayings with little tiny anecdotes and a lot of pictures. So I'm going to try to do a video on this. It'll be up hopefully in like a week or so but i i don't know if it doesn't come out that's the that's the reveal okay so whatever so um hopefully i will be doing some writing zooms here soon um and if you want to join the anarchy crew and get in um tonight tuesday night um we're doing a writing zoom um so hit the join button down below and also i'm doing videos on my for my members all the time like live streams all the time so um, I'm going to probably be doing only like one or two videos a week on this main feed and then members get daily content. I think that's how we're going to do this from now on. So um, I hope you miss me, miss me enough to join, type hard, and I will talk to you all later.